comes the chill of autumn in the lonely Louisiana marshes, and you hear the cry of the blue goose, mystery bird of the North American wildfowl. From Baffin Land to the bayous, the big blues call to keen-eyed hunters like Raquel Romero Halner of New York and Cuba. She's out along the canals with Purvis A. Bear, a New Orleans sportsman, to try her shooting eye against the bird that sweeps down from the north each year in great flocks to concentrate on this one patch of land in the southern United States. bayous or canals have provided passageway through the swamps and marshes for many generations of both geese and men. The geese are plentiful, but they have to be found in this broad, flat country. Moving into the back country, an occasional trapper's shack is seen. The people are Cajuns, descendants of the French Acadians, who driven from far off Canada in the 18th century settled here. This is a temporary dwelling, for Cajuns come here in season to trap the muskrat, which abounds in great numbers. Far from the ancestral Nova Scotian shore, the children of Longfellow's Evangeline gather the luxurious furs that'll soon be walking down Fifth Avenue, Michigan Boulevard, Hollywood and Vine, or for that matter, Main Street anywhere. Looks like it might be hard to tear Raquel away to hunt the goose down yonder with that nice soft fur so close at hand. Why go further? <laughs> Meanwhile, the Cajun family looks on with polite and friendly curiosity. The call of the wild goose wins over the lure of the fur coat, and our party heads into the marshes to look for the birds. despite its great numbers in this region, is almost lost in this broad, seemingly empty expanse of marsh. However, when a few are sighted in flight, it means there are plenty more on the ground and in the water below. The hunter must get to that spot as quickly and as quietly as he can. Eager as he may be for a shot, he must now go over land and leave the canal. Travel from here on will be by marsh buggy, a fanciful but practical contraption for crossing the bogs. Before getting started, the guide gathers tall reeds for the blind he will have to make later on. into the tank, the grass is loaded, and the party climbs aboard for its safari across the swamp. This is really rolling out the barrel, a mechanized snowshoe. And off in the distance, the big blues are singing their siren song. mud buggy moves across the soft ground, but a few obstacles crop up, something fairly new in cattle, part domestic cow, part Indian Brahma, bred to stand the Louisiana summer heat. The ground is wet now, but the motorized mudlark never bogs down. It's got a line on the goose flock, and nothing is going to stop it. Party is within shooting distance now. The trek across the swamp is ended.
the guide quietly sets out the decoys. The spread will be placed both on water and on land. The blues, like other geese, do most of their feeding on land, grazing like a sheep or cow. These decoys will tell the birds in flight that there's chow down here, and they'll come winging in, ready for the dinner table. Whether it's for the hunter's dinner table depends on how quick he is on a wing shot. Here's a goose-eye view of the decoys. Raquel and her companion go into the blind. Geese are scary birds and have keen eyesight. Quiet is the word as the big birds make a pass at the decoys. They're coming in. Too soon or too eager? Here comes another flight, an A-Bear fires, and here's a gone blue goose tumbling down to Papa. Raquel's turn, and this time she waits and gets the bird. Here's a chance for a double, two birds, and not in the bush either, but he only gets one. That's the way blue goose shooting is. They aren't found in many places, Baffin Land, Hudson's Bay, and Louisiana. For generations, they came south out of nowhere and then disappeared when spring came. Now we know a little more about them, but two things have never changed. There are plenty of them when you find them, and they are great sport for the waterfowler. And now Raquel and her host leave the lonely marshes. There's a quick stop at the trapper's shack to leave a part of the bag, a courteous thing for any sportsman to do. And then it's down the bayous after a day in the marshes, tracking down the mystery fowl of the flyways, the fast-winging bird from Baffinland, the big blue goose. 